beginning of Almighty Allah, most precious, most merciful, the sovereign and the Lord of the universe. We appreciate Almighty Allah for giving us the opportunity to witness today. We are here for another edition of our weekly diet, and today's topic is going to be centered on Muslim women in business. Who are the Muslim women? These are believing women in the parts of Al Islam, and they enjoy the Almighty Allah to earn a living through Allah means. Why business can be described as a way of generating income? The term business is understood in the wide sense to include all systems involved in the exchange of goods and services to make money. Systems of production, consumption, marketing, advertising, social and economic accounting, labor relations, public relations, and organizational behavior are analysis for memorial behavior. In Islam, there is no restriction that does not allow a woman to work, as stated in the verses of the Holy Quran, says, and do not wish for that, by which Allah has made some of you exceed others. For men is a share of what they have earned, and for a woman or woman is a share of what they have earned, and ask Allah of his bounty. Indeed, Allah is ever of all things knowing. Surah to Anisa, verse 14. Verse 33. In Islam, gender is not an obstacle for women's entrepreneurship. Gender equality in Islam covers all aspects, including the issue of rights and obligations. The women are allowed to work in various fields as long as they work, or the work is done in an atmosphere of respect, polite, and as, they, as long as they can maintain their religion and also avoid negative impacts of work towards self and the environment. In this case, the role of women can and should play a role also in helping to meet the needs of the family in solving various problems because Allah has made it clear in the Quran, Surah so al had verse 11, for each one has successful angels before and behind him who protects him by the decree of Allah. Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of a people until what is in themselves. Women entrepreneurs are women who participate in the total entrepreneurial activity. They are able to deal with risk. They are able to identify opportunities in the environment, to combine resources in a unique way, so as to take advantage of business they do. Entrepreneurship in Islam is to do business with innovation and risk, and with guidance laid down by Islam, according to the Quran, and the deeds of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Islam forbids such dishonesty, greed, exploitation, and monopoly. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam explained that people who obtain any unlawful advantage is a sinner. This implies that whatever business we want to do, we should not contradict what Almighty Allah lays down in the Quran and the teachings of our Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muslim entrepreneurs should be different from entrepreneurs in their motives and goals. Don't set too much profit on whatever margin you are setting. Do not hold, do not reduce your measurement stands. Some people, they are fond of reducing the measurements they use to measure for people. They should remember the degree of accountability. Those measurements allow or ask them. Have little profit. Don't be too much profit oriented. So that Allah will bless the little that comes your way. If they are able to manage a business successfully, they also have, must have a good performance in terms of faith and belief in Allah, the Almighty. Islam gives freedom to engage women in economic activities. Business women in Islam is not new. Long before the glory of Islam also has a lot of women who do business. An example is Nana Khadija Radiana Sahar. The wife of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before known as a prophet's wife, Khadija was a non successful businesswoman in an era. Likewise, Khilat Kumi Bani and Mar recorded as a woman who once came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to ask for guidance in the field of buying and selling. And the Prophet gives a lot of attention and guidance to women in order to use their time wisely and to fill it with useful jobs. And that has conferred equal potency and ability to assume responsibility for women and men. Today, women, as an important part of the society, have an important role in the economic sector and development of country. The country development starts from the home. How do you discuss development of the country without your home being developed? You start from 
transform the home. You look around you. You look around your environment. What is it that is lacking? That if I do, I can have a little income. You can look around. You can make ice blocks to sell. You can look around. You can make kunu to sell. You can look around. You can fry chips to sell. You can fry puff puff. You can do chin chin. You take it to the nearby outside people selling the house stores. You take it to them. Maybe you make it twelve. You sell it for them. Ten. They make profit of two. By the time they are doing that, before you know it, little, 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 10 copper tons to 20 copper, 20 copper to 30 copper, you have a regular turnover. You don't need to go and beg anybody. It's not being proud. But Matiana says, blessed is the hand that gives. The receiving hand is always at the top. Why do you want to be down? Come on! Allah says, be giving so that I can increase your baraka. Today, women as an important part of the society have an important role in the economic society and development of the country. It's not allows women to do business with the requirement to get permission from her husband. Do not violate the rules of religion. Because you want to be rich, because you want to do a business, be submissive. Ask for the permission from your husband. If he doesn't agree, get him, you know you are a woman, you know how to get him. Just be persevering, just like our mommy said, perseverance, and that is the key word. You have to persevere, you have to be patient, you have to lobby him. Yes, you lobby him to get what he wants. If you don't lobby him, how do you get it? You get his attention. If he doesn't bless the business for you, forget it. You just work in vain. Because his mind will not be praying for you. He will not be there to support you spiritually. And you cannot do it alone. Somebody has to be there for you. If your husband is not there for you, who has to be there for you? You have the home together, then you have to be persevering. You have to calm down. Don't rush. If he says, I don't want this business, oh, so that's no problem. We'll give it another look some other time. You just keep praying, and Allah will touch his heart. Then you pray to Allah to make it a successful plan for you too. That's why you don't need to rush. Maybe the time is today. Allah is doing something better. Allah is preparing you for something better. So let us work hand in hand as a family to see that whatever we are doing, we have the constants and uh, you know the authority of our husbands. It is pertinent to know that whatever business we engage in as a woman, the business must not threaten our homes. It should not bring disharmony. We should not do business at the detriment of our children because our home is our home. We have so many career mothers. I can beat my chest to tell you that our Hamira is a role model. Yes. I want to tell you a story today. A story of appreciation. When I started this business, it was tough. If I go to her office with tears in my eyes, she would say, How that? Calm down. By the time I will be going, my proposal, she would just send my money. She would just send money to my account. I will not ask her mommy, when am I paying back? Say, did I ask you to pay back? Don't call me again. Allah. Yes. Allah. On so many occasions. Yes. And she does a lot of referrals for me. I take very love. Yeah. So I want to tell you that a lot of people have encouraged me on this business. I tried that and said I take very love. There was a day she looked into my eyes and said, can't you be a woman? Keep quiet and face your children and your job. I'll be praying, Allah will bless this business for you. And Allah will bless the business. So anytime I look back, I tell you what, she's always there. She say, ha, oh, you're a You really did your attended more wedding. I saw you. The way the one I did is, lots of encouragement. Lots of encouragement. People keep encouraging me. The Almighty Allah grants Ajayani in your last soul peace. She was another, you know, good person. The last one we did, Ijab, Sister Ijab Zay, what Ijab Zay, she called me to a phone and said, Wow, Mama Faisa, you have really impressed me. You are, keep, you are improving day in, day out. Lots of encouragement for people that keep you going. It's your remember people said, A child that picks up is what the mother will carry. If somebody sees you struggling, comes to your head. Words of encouragement, advice. They will sustain you in that business. Sometimes you don't need money. You need the spirit, the zeal to move. Hajia is here. Anything they are doing in defense, she will just hint me. We are doing something in defense, so just start, 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 start. Before you do it, she don't love you for me. I've never given her a dime. See, if I give her, she will turn my envelope. There was a day I 
gave her money the most. In my presence, so she was distributing. I said, this is, see this woman. See, this is my thank you. She has distributed to everybody around. So it is because they see me struggling. They encouraged me. My sisters, just try. In your neighborhood, look at what nobody is selling. You will see that, inshallah, Allah will help you. Even if it is a job that this my mommy is wearing, you are a tailor, learn how to do it. Just have an added advantage on what you others are doing. Then you see people patronize you. If other people are doing one leg, you do two double legs. So that people say, oh, this is another beautiful design. Before you know it, Allah has put paraka. Overall, entrepreneurial activity of women in the Islamic perspective, of course, in accordance with the teachings of Islam, and a positive impact on social change in so many uh, societies is for the betterment of our homes. Based on the views of experts and uh, so many Muslim women that are involved in entrepreneurship, entails the context of life and the area of globalization, advances in science and technology, communication and information currently, has made so many women to be versatile in these areas and they cannot be put aside. You can imagine, when we're talking of technology, we're talking of improvements. Go to the hospitals. I was happy the other day I went to the hospital to just do a hospital round. I saw pretty sisters in each other. Oh, I was saying, oh, yeah, Allah. Make my children, see, let them be doctors. So that when people see them, they were admired there. Your young sisters, and they were so articulated. You see them asking those consultant questions. I said, yeah, Allah, alhamdulillah, we are coming up. Let us encourage our girls, child, to study medicine, so that in this area, we will not be lacking. Let us talk to them. Let us make them courageous. And again, please, the girl child, we need to watch them. As they are growing, let us give them the orientation. No uncle will tell you to sit on my lap. No uncle will tell you to come around my bar. Don't allow uncle, cousins, nephew, anybody to hold them. Because they will be brainwashed not to tell anybody. We have to put our eyes on our girl children. We have to make sure that whatever work we are doing, we don't leave our children unattended to. The boys, we should be careful with them. So many things are around now. Before you know it, you see small, small, small of them. You see friends coming in. Please, let us be 